ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video, which I am doing in response to having been asked several times over the last couple of days, as I've been playing games, streaming on Twitch, and what have you, um, I've been asked, how do you set up different mod folders for Farming Simulator 19? So basically, I'm going to show you the two different methods you can use or, well, three methods, really, um, that you can use. Um, so first things first, the easiest way to do it, open up Windows Explorer on your computer, go to your Documents folder, go to My Games, go to Farming Simulator 19. Now, this is the folder where you have all your saved games, you have your game XML files, game settings, your log files. You also have your mod folder. You have your paid DLC folder. Basically, wherever the game defaults to storing all your saved information. Okay. And you will have a mods folder. Now, that is where all your mods go. That you download either from the mod hub in-game or from third-party websites. Now, to add... A different mod folder it's simply a case of right click choose new folder and type in the name of a folder now I will name this mods one to start with because to use that mods folder you will need to rename your existing one and we'll just call that uh, B <laughs> for example and then we'll rename that one mods. So now you've got an empty clean and empty folder. So if I start up the game, do -do -do -do. no, it won't work for me like that. Okay. Now that is of course, that's the easiest way of doing it. However, if you're not happy and not comfortable renaming your mods folders, and you don't want to do that. The, the other way to do it, so if we leave that as mods one, and we rename that one back to mods, <clears throat> rename that one back to mods, he says. There we go. And just to show you that that is the mods folder because it's got mods in it, that one is the blank folder because there's no mods in it. What you can do is if you come down to your game settings XML and open that with any text editor on your computer. I personally use Notepad++. And basically you're looking for the very first line on the top. Mods directory override active true. And then it gives you the directory. Now obviously at the moment I'm using F Fenton Forest multiplayer. The reason being I have a separate drive on my computer where I keep all the mod folders for all the maps that I play. Every map has its own mod folder. There is only one map in each of these folders. You never want to install multiple maps in a mod folder. One map per folder. So at the moment I have my Fenton Forest folder selected and that's the link there. But basically you can change that link and you can select any mods folder you wish. So if I wanted mods one, as my mods folder, I would come in here and I would change it to that. See, users, see what ESO OneDrive documents my games, Farming Simulator 19, mods one. And you just save that, exit it. And when you start up the game, uh, I'm going to actually use my mod folder manager program. If I launch the game now, <laughs> and I go into the mods, the only installed mods, and you'll probably be saying, how have you got installed mods? How do you have installed mods? Well, because those are in my paid DLC folder. They're not actually in the mod folder. They're in the paid DLC folder where Steam installs the game for me. 
So these mods, if you like, are all in the um, paid DLC folder. So I have no mods installed. Zero. Zilch. Just those. <laughs> And if I go to New Korea, pick that map there, New Farmer, Ravenport. It will also list things like the Class Dominator, the Class Torian, uh, the John Deere Gators and things like that, which were part of my pre-order DLC. Those are all in the paid DLC folder. They're not in the mods, mods folder. I have no mods installed. So again, if I quickly come back out, now, if I go back and change my mods folder to the um, switch it from mods one and I switch it back to mods, which it has done look, mods now is the chosen program. If I launch the game now. and go into Korea. New Farmer, Ravenport. You can see there's a whole load of whole load of mods <laughs> now because it's using the other folder. Um I don't even know what map what map is in here. Have I got a map? I must have a map in this folder. So in this default mod this default I've got Gold Crest Valley. Yeah, that's not a map worth worrying about. Um, so that's one. That's like I say. That shows you how to do it that way. I, however, prefer to use this program on my PC, which is the FS17 Stroke 19 Mod Folder Manager, which is available to download from FarmWrangler.com. Um, it is free to use. There is another that piece of software on this website called farm sim dashboard that one does require you to buy a basically a key or donate to get the features whereas the farming simulator mod folder manager version 1.2 is completely free to use and this is what i use um basically um ah what i can do as well with this thinking about it I like to use the global company mod. Um, um, the global market. However, it's a bit of a pain in the backside to start the global market EXE every time I want to start the game. No. So I'm adding the global market mod. <laughs> there we go. I can launch it from mod so I don't even have to open Explorer anymore. But basically on this like you can see I've got all these different folders set up for many different maps and things literally all you do in file explorer on whatever hard drive you want to do it so for example f drive for me create a folder okay name the folder um, put the mods in the folder then in this program you just select any one of the blank windows with the with the green dashes you click on that navigate to whichever mod folder you want so again f drive for me pick any one of these folders so for example if i was doing uh, la coronella you click that and then you would type in a name for it la coronella there we go we now have a map which a link to that so lat cronella is in there um, i'm just going to check as well that's the version of the map i want that one that one in there right so we've got lat Coronella selected. So if I click launch farm sim, this starts up the game. 
I'll go into career mode now. Uh, there's Lacronella. Obviously, it shows the picture. If I don't have the right mod folder, like all the other game saves, you'd get question marks because there's no map available. <laughs> um, where there's no maps. Uh, there's all the mods. You need to enable that and enable that. Switch everything off and back on. That's the easiest way of doing it. So these are the mods I'm thinking of running on my new server when I change the server over because I want to play this map on the server. Uh, so I load into game. And there we go. We've loaded up La Coronella. So that's how you do that. Right, if I exit out of the game. it exit completely out of the game um, and then change the I just click on one of these buttons and I'll be able to play a completely different map with a completely different set of mods so if I go Lakeland Vale 2 active folder is now F drive FS19 Lakeland Vale 2 so if you was to look in go back to your farm sim folder where again you have all your saved games and everything Open up your game settings XML again. You'll notice it's now changed my directory to Lakeland Vale 2 right there at the top. So that's what this program does. It saves you the have it saves you the hassle of having to open the file, manually type in the directories and stuff. It's why I use it. It's a little bit quicker and easier. So Lakeland Vale 2 is selected. If I click launch now what will happen is i get a completely different uh set of mods and completely different set different map so we go in here okay lacronella is the game i just loaded i can't load it now because the map and the mods are no longer available hence the question mark on the screen so if we go to lakeland vale 2 by stevie I can now load that. And completely different map. <laughs> so much easier. And that way you can have multiple mod folders. And it allows you to keep one map, one mod map in its you can have a mod map in its own folder. So you're not mixing mod maps together, which is very bad. You should never have more than one map in your mods folder, people. Um, so there we go. We're now on Lakeland Vale 2. And it was just as easy. It was as simple as clicking a, bu a button, launching the game. Click the button, launch the game. Easy as pie. There we go. So those are the ways you can change mod folders and have multiple mod folders on PC. I hope you found this video very useful. And I hope now people will stop asking me how to do it. <laughs> in twitch chat and if i if people are asking me how to do it in twitch chat hopefully some of you other viewers will now be able to link to this video in the chat and say go watch this video it will tell you um how to have multiple mod folders <laughs> and like i say the best way to do it honestly download this program if you go to farm wrangler um Okay, quick jump menu. You're on the main, me main menu. Ignore this mod dashboard because this is the one where the guy wants you to pay for it. Okay, he wants you to pay money and he wants like twenty dollars to send you the uh, to unlock all the features. So don't bother with that. You don't need that. All you need is the mod folder manager. There we go mod folder manager so download that and you'll be fine you'll be good to go there are other mod folder managers out there i've seen on other websites uh different facebook groups and stuff people have linked to other programs again 
Security wise, I don't know. I'm a bit, you know, some of the sources of those um, managers I'm not too familiar with. And obviously running any executable program on your computer comes with risk. If you don't know what the source is and if you don't trust it, you know, you could potentially be installing viruses if somebody is malicious enough. Um, so just be a little bit careful. That's all I would say on that front. <laughs> but like I say, there are different methods. If you don't want to download and use this program, all you need to do is go to your farm sim directory, rename your mods folder and create a new one and just keep switching the name between mods. Mods is the one that the game will by default load. It'll ignore any of the other folders. So whenever you want to load the other folder, rename mods to something else, and then the folder that you want to use, change that to mods. Alternatively, if you're confident enough with, like I say, Notepad++ or Notepad or any other text editor, you can edit your game settings and manually change your directory at the top here. That's another way to do it. But again, me personally, I find it's just quicker and easier to use this. <laughs> so that's what I use. So anyway, if you have found this video helpful and informative, please go ahead, click the like button. Give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. That's also very important to the channel. Um, leave your comments in the section below, because obviously I do like having stuff to read. And um, share the video wherever you see fit with whomever you see fit. You know, spread this around. There might be other people that don't know how to add multiple mod folders. And of course, as an official partner of Giant Software, if you don't yet own Farming Simulator 19 or you don't own all the DLC, check the description down below because there's some very, very good links there. My affiliate links with Giants that Giants have given me, which allow you to buy the DLCs, and uh, basically I get a little bit of a I get a little bit of support from Giants. Then I get a little thank you. So there you go. I will see you again very soon in a farming simulator video or some other gaming video. But for now, from me, it's goodbye. Cheerio. Take care, stay safe everybody.